saved $1,500 when I started eating ramen noodles. <laughs> it broke my heart, but also it changed my life. Keep watching to find out what book I'm talking about today. So hey, this is Kyla Denango and today we're talking about noodles. I'm not turning into a food blogger, <laughs> but today we're talking about the book, Get Good With Money, okay? This book is written by Tiffany Alice. The genre of the book is nonfiction. The theme of the book is money management, okay? So what do books and ramen noodles have to do with each other? Tiffany says, what is your noodle budget? And she means literally, if you only ate ramen noodles, what is that budget? Okay, you got your mortgage, you got your house note, you got your electric bill, but you're spending money on DoorDash, you're ordering pizza, you're going out for ice cream, you're doing all this stuff. If you only ate ramen noodles, if that's all you could afford, the 39 cent pack of noodles, what's that budget? I know that my husband and I spent a lot of money on food. If you want a snack here, you want something there, you want some fast food, just go get it. I downloaded the Mint app. I looked at what we were spending. We were spending about $1,400 a month on food. This was in a month, why? I'll tell you why. Because we had no idea what we were spending, <laughs> okay? I have been terrified of learning about money because I always had a handle on money. I always knew what I was doing. I knew what was happening. I didn't. From this book, I've learned that I am a tracker. I have an Excel spreadsheet. It shows what I spend. It has a rough category of what I want to spend on electricity. It is not realistic at all. I never had a budget. I didn't understand how people say your budget shows you what you spend your money on, as in there should be no surprises because everything should be budgeted. Even if you go out to eat, you should have a budget for going out to eat. Even if you buy yourself some new clothes, that should be in your budget. How can you budget for that? I didn't know. So all of that said, identifying my noodle budget was paramount for me because in its simplest form of, you know how much money comes in, you know how much money is going out, I had no idea. And then also I've recently started working. I've been working for myself for the last year and a half. I make some money here and there, it's never consistent. But I went out and got a consistent nine to five job. So now I actually have consistent income so that my expenses can actually line up and we can know what's happening, okay? The point of her budget is that there's a B for bill, which is something that has to be paid. And she determines this as something that someone will sue you for if you don't pay it. If I don't pay my mortgage, somebody's gonna sue me. I don't pay my car note, they're gonna repossess it and then sue me. You know what I mean? Things you gotta pay. And then there's your utility bills, UBs, which are things that probably fluctuate, like maybe a gym membership, maybe, you know, your DoorDash membership fees, they would just cancel it. And then there are things that are just straight up C for cash, you know, picking up some bubble gum, going to the store, ordering food. I can live off of the groceries that I've bought. Do I wanna eat ramen noodles every day? No, but I could and it would nourish my body. My daughter's groceries, that, that is a bill. My food on DoorDash is completely C cash can be cut. Okay, so everything that's on your budget that's a B or a UB is consisting of your noodle budget. Everything else is your what you've been living on. I can talk about this book forever, but I will say, if you're enjoying this book review, consider subscribing to the channel. I talk about books every single week, okay? So let's jump right back into it. Typically when I think about budgeting and money and stuff like that, I think about buying a luxury option. I think about buying a house that is too big for us to live in. I don't think about what I could do with $1,400 instead of spending that on extra gravy or two scoops of ice cream instead of one. And to be honest, I intentionally wasn't thinking about it because I didn't have it written down because I literally was just tracking what I spent. I was not budgeting whatsoever, okay? So I did what Tiffany said. She gives you a ton of templates. There's even one that you can download from her website but Janista and it automatically has the columns you just have to plug in your numbers right and so I have all of my income right here I have all of my expenses I'm 39 years old and I finally have a budget I have a noodle budget which is about two thousand dollars less than the budget that we were living on okay and the true amount that I saved in 30 days from eating ramen noodles fourteen hundred dollars in 30 days no joke. So the last thing here that was absolutely important to me is saving. According to Tiffany's budget, a savings account is a B for bill, capital B has to be done. That blew my mind. 
if I have credit card debt, I'm not trying to put $300 in a savings account. I'm trying to put it on that bill. And Tiffany has times where she talks about why you could possibly not save. But if you're going through a time where you were just financially unstable, which I was, I need to have six months savings set aside. You have to be prepared for that rainy day. And so savings are 100% mandatory. So there's another book that I recently read, which absolutely blew my mind, which was all about how to acquire wealth and possibly become a millionaire. All right, so check this book out called We Should All Be Millionaires so that you can become a millionaire yourself. See you in the next video.